What's up, you guys? It's Steven London, obviously, and you guys are seeing some new faces today. Hi. This is Lazarus, guys. Chef Lazarus, I am obsessed with you. I love all of this. Like yeah. I told you guys last week, I was gonna have him on the show. This is all part of his project called Southern of a Southern Chef. Son of a Southern Chef. Southern of a Southern Chef. I Son saying, of a Southern Chef. Son <laughs> of a Southern Chef. I there keep messing it up because it's you so got it. like. You got it. I know, it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, I think it's because I'm so excited for the food right. that my mouth is like watering and it's like <laughs> causing me to not get it right. But we're gonna go right into it. I wanna know more about you yeah. and just this wonderful project that you have going on. So my first question is, how did this all come about? Like, what made you say, that's it, I'm gonna be a chef? Right. Well, actually, it's interesting, Stephen. Um, thanks for being, having me on the show, oh, for sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so my father went into the restaurant business when I was about 10 years old. And at that time, I was really into music and into art and into acting and dancing. I grew up in a very musical and artistic family. Yeah. So when my father got into the restaurant business, we were always there, especially, you know, in sort of during the genesis of his business. You know, okay. it was like all the family that could be there to help him was there. Um, what was interesting is that once I got into high school, into culinary high school, I kind of learned a different style of cooking. Right. I learned actually a healthier style of cooking. I grew up eating mostly soul food. My father was born right. in Alabama. Um, yeah, shout out to Down South. Right, Down South, that's my Alabama. Um, and so he learned how to cook from his mom, who taught him how to make you know the fried chickens, the mm -hmm. collard greens, the mac and cheese, mm -hmm. the stuff we love that's mm -hmm. not really good for us, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and so I learned how to make that stuff too. So now Son of a Southern Chef sort of introduces a new way of creating those classic cuisines, a new way of creating like the Southern food, um, wow. making it healthier. So exactly. I'm doing like rehashed versions of my dad's food. So that's perfect because now yep. you're taking like the wonderful piece of fried chicken, mm -hmm. but instead of frying it, we could use like whole wheat grain um, crumbs right. and then bake it. Right. And you'll still kind of get the same you can still flavor. Get the effect. And that's what I'm saying because that's, right. I don't know, I, I'll show you a clip right now, guys. Last week, mm -hmm. we made a butternut squash cake. Yes. And listen, awesome. I saw the clip on my Instagram. I'll play the clip like right now. It was awesome. I'll probably be on the side playing. Like I said, when I say this was the truth.com, like, right. <laughs> oh the my truth. God, the truth.com, like, it was so good. Like, it was very much, you know, like the southern plate of yes. carrot cake, you know, that, or, you know, people wouldn't think to take butternut squash. So, mm -hmm. how, how, how is it that you take the idea of something taking something like carrot cake, right. but then substitute something as healthy as butternut? Right. I mean, sometimes, you know, I, I'm inspired when I go to the grocery store, Stephen. When I just walk in and I, I look at what's available to me, I look at what looks good, and that's kind of what inspires me to make the dishes that I'm making. Mm -hmm. But one thing that's interesting about the South is that the South has so many fresh produce, ingredients, yes. fruits, and um, squash. I mean, it's just like, it's so hot down there, so they grow all that food. And, you know, carrot cake is what I love. I love eating carrot I cake. I love it. But, you know, you can substitute carrot cake for, you know, for apple cake. You can substitute yes. it for butternut squash. And it's actually a healthier fat. So actually, we didn't use any kind of butter yes. in that cake because the butternut squash added that fat, that natural fat. Just thinking about it you right know, now. So it's totally healthy for you. And, and it's obviously delicious. We're going to make this salad that I'm excited. And I decided to name this salad. OK. And it's going to be called I've been eating watermelon. Oh, yeah. Beyonce. Just, Beyonce. Just because Beyonce. <laughs> and at the end of the day, everybody's been drinking it. You know, everybody's been drinking the watermelon. Okay. So now I want to eat it. And <laughs> I know that it's more than just watermelon. Yes, it is. We have watermelon. Watermelon. We have some apples. And oranges. And oranges, yeah. And then we also have some toasted Pecans. Pecan. Yep. Okay, so so far it's so good. Yeah. It tastes I can already kind of sense it in my mouth. Pause. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the salad. So what's the first step in that? So the first step is finding, you know, the watermelon that looks great to you. I'm just using a small watermelon um, because I don't need a whole lot of it. Okay. So you're just gonna take your knife and just run right through it. It's really important in this cut season that you use a really sharp knife. Okay. That will help to get you like really nice cuts. Okay. Okay. And we're just gonna cut this right in half. And then half again. So okay. just kind Let of cutting cut it into right. You cut? Yeah. I actually have another knife and I'll cut. Okay, I'm perfect. reach over you. Okay, go ahead. Right, so, so I love watermelon. You know, it's kind of one of those things. And if you want, just go right in there, just like that. And cut the, the green part off. See, you know, is green it true off. that I've been told that it's not 
necessarily good to eat the green part of the watermelon, mm -hmm. but then I know some people that do. So what's the art, what's the, what's your take on that? I mean, the water, you know, the outside of the watermelon, is kind of like eating the skin of an orange, you know, it just doesn't just have like, okay. flavor, it's not really okay. digestible, so, I mean, that's why it's usually recommended, you know, that you stay away from it kind of Okay. Thing. Here, let's just I have a bowl of some lettuce that we're working on. Perfect. I'll move this. So this is what the fat, look. This is just some mixed greens, some spring mix. You can use like arugula, which is a little bit more spicy. Okay. In the flavor. And we're just gonna add that watermelon. Perfect. Right to that. So now we got the apple component. We got the apple component. Yes. I'm excited. This is very much <laughs> like giving you a fruit salad, but with a twist, I feel. With a I twist. I feel like there's gonna be like a little surprise involved in this. And right. I can't wait. We're mm -hmm. having the salad, we're making the salad. I got my friends coming over, we're listening to Beyonce, we're eating that right. I've been eating. Watermelon, watermelon. salad. <laughs> and now my friends is like, uh -huh. bitch, I'm hungry, I want some more food. Okay. Now what do you suggest you would eat after this? So yeah, this is like a really like, like starter, right? This is like an appetizer, but I would, you know, eat this over the summer with, you know, maybe some grilled chicken, mm. just a little bit of grilled chicken on the mm -hmm. grill. Um, you know, I'd pair that with probably some um, fingerling potatoes and you oh. just brush it with a little bit of olive oil yes. and salt and pepper yes. on the grill as well. I'm gonna add some t toasted pecans. Yeah. Now, do you wanna chop these or leave these whole? I, I prefer them whole, I okay. don't really care. That's totally up to you. It's all gonna go to the same place, I feel. But <laughs> if, exactly. if you want, you essentially, know, essentially it goes to the same if you place. wanna break it down. And then we have some gorgonzola. So this is actually like buttermilk gorgonzola. Okay. And it's a cow cheese. It has sort of like a tangy flavor. It's not as strong as a blue cheese. I know people are like, ah, I don't like blue cheese. Kind yeah, because I was about to say like, like funky. Yeah, blue cheese you know. gives me very much like wings. Right. So I don't think that would be necessarily, I wouldn't want to taste wings in, in right. this. Right. So. Add a little bit, just like that. Okay. And we'll save some for, the, for our, our salad, for the top of our salad. Now we're going to make the dressing. So. I'm gonna actually have you do that. We're gonna put this inside. Oh my inside. God, he done got <laughs> damn dressing. I have confidence in you. It's about to be crazy. Oh. This thing's done in a mason jar, which is exactly what this is. Mason jars. Mason jars. Hashtag mason jars. <laughs> hashtag mason jars. You be knowing about the hashtags. Oh, okay, so listen y'all. Mason jars, I love mason jars. Yes. These are the little cutest thing. You know what's crazy, kind of side tip? Sure. I was on Tumblr last night, yep. and I saw that you could like design these a whole bunch of ways. Not only just yeah. the food, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw someone put Christmas lights in here, oh, wow. plug it up, and use it as like a kitchen design. That is awesome. So I've never seen that before. But when I, I come yeah. over, and mm -hmm. you have your first professional like official kitchen in your house. Right, in my house. And you gonna make me this, <laughs> I've been drinking watermelon uh -huh. salad, uh -huh. I'll bring you a mason jar with some Christmas Good. lights. Good, yeah. I'm looking okay. forward to that. Right in there. Just You're gonna in squeeze here. it right into there. Okay. And to that, I'm gonna cut a shallot. I'm gonna work on a shallot. I'm gonna add the shallot right into that. Wow. So it's almost like onions and with orange juice. So you right. Kind of already. And the acidity kind of tones down that strong yeah. onion flavor, and you don't really taste it at all. It's wow. Really, really. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Because that's what I was about to ask. I'm like, right. Onions and orange. Mm -hmm. What are you making? It sounds like something that my grandmother would make to get rid of my sinuses. <laughs> but I'ma trust you. Trust man. me. Just trust me. Okay. So now you're gonna add a little bit of the honey. So this honey right here is probably gonna take a little time to come out. Right. Because it's honey. Okay, so we're probably gonna fast forward uh -oh. in, the in, the, in the video. Okay. Because we'll be here all day. I'm gonna add some of the balsamic mm, balsamic vinegar. vinegar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Add the olive oil. Exactly. So okay. usually for a vinaigrette like this, you wanna do like a two to one, so like two parts oil to one part you know, yes. vinegar. And yeah. now we're just gonna give that a cover. And I want you to shake it, shake it, shake it. And keep that on. And just cool. cover it. And, you know. All right, so I'm gonna stir this up. Stir it up. Actually, give it up, give it up. Boom! <laughs> Boom! 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 <laughs> okay, honey. So, we're just gonna add this nice to our bowl, to our plate here. Yeah. Now, you know, I like to serve it in this when I have friends over or something like that. But you could also put it in our mason jar. Mason jar! So if you like are on the go, yep. and you know, you need it for the rest of the week, and you wanna be greedy like me, <laughs> and put a little bit more of the dressing, and you could, the you good go. thing about this is that it's gonna be sitting all together, so exactly. it's gonna absorb the, all those flavors. The flavors. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna officially taste it. Now let's taste it. Okay. I'm gonna get you a fork. Thank you. I'm, I can decide, <laughs> let's just go for it. Guys, you guys are missing out. Let's yes. get that. So we got the cheese, the watermelon, oh, the apple. It smells so good. It smells like something. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The cheese, 
with the honey in. Mm -hmm. And then the watermelon. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is so good. Like This is delicious. Okay, so they, we saw how you can make it. Yep. We saw how we could travel it. So tell Absolutely. them where they could get the recipe. So you can you saw how to do all this. You can get the recipe at www.sonofasouthernchef, sonofasouthernchef.com. Yes, and it's gonna be right there. It's a tongue twister, so we're gonna put you know the name uh -huh. right there so they can go to it. And on there they could learn more about your you company. Can learn more about my company, learn about uh, recipes and how to modify recipes, traditional family recipes. And you can also uh, find links to my other social media platforms. Yes, which is Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook Instagram, Pinterest. You're YouTube. socially connected. I'm socially connected. Yeah. So, and that's all at a son of a southern, southern chef. chef. Yep. So, thank you so much. Thank you. This was a main balls. Making those classic southern recipes, mm -hmm. making them healthier. This is affordable. You can Absolutely. find all of this in your produce section. You can make the dressing with your ingredients at home. Right. I know I have honey and balsamic vinegar laying right. around in my house. Whip it up with a little bit of oil. It's a vinaigrette. Really simple. Perfect. Thank yep. you so much. Thank You're you. amazing. I, I love you, you like a good plate of food, bro. <sighs> no pun intended. No pun intended. All right, so we're going to cut the camera because I can't eat yep. on, on camera. <laughs> <laughs>